Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're counting on with that von Karstein campaign. And, uh, looking a bit, looking a bit pallid today, Isabella. Need to get some colour in those cheeks. Really do. Anyway, uh, so, we decided to just wipe out, uh, Manny. I'm fed up of him. I just... I already kind of resented him because it's Manny and you have to hate Manny, it's it's the law. Um, and so, yeah, with the with the nonsense, with him getting wiped out and dragging me to a billion wars, then me trying to bring him back, but then it's like a military alliance, and he tried to like drag me into other wars by him declaring war on people, even though he wasn't at war with all the people that declared war on him originally because he'd been reawakened and... Well, you were there for all that. So I just to kill him, and honestly I feel a lot better for it, so... Um, also, Emmanuel is just a crazy great assassin. Even when the chances are against her, she still manages to get the kill. It's amazing. I love her. She's my favourite. Sorry. Sorry, Isabella. Sorry, Vlad. But no, this is Emmanuel's campaign now. Emmanuel's campaign, not Emmanuela. I'm getting a name wrong, even though I love her. Awkward. Anyway, we're going to see if Ono can get the ambush on Compule, because he just keeps attacking Kragmir and then running off again. It's very annoying. He is really being a nuisance. Also, I can't imagine he's doing great for... Nope, that's going to rebel this turn. Hooray. Ugh. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. Oh, oh, good. I'm glad. I thought he was going to take it then. I'm really glad they didn't. Because I want that territory. Okay, he's not going to fall for the ambush because he's finally decided to raise Kragmir. Finally decided to raise it. So, Wolfram is heading back this way, which is fine. Looks like he's trying to ambush. Wolfram's ambushing. That's fun. And Slagger just showed up. That would be the, um... That would be the rebel army. Fun. And our ambush got foiled. So that's fine. And good. The beastman didn't decide to attack Vlad. How hilarious would that have been? Seriously. That would have been so good. And he's attacking it right away. I can reach this guy, but not really. So I guess I will deal with Slagger. Come here, Slagger. You silly boy. None of that, okay? None of that. Bats and wounds, ah, good stuff. Right, let's level you up then. Uh, Unliving Host, good. Although Restless Dead would have probably been better. Dark now that I think about it. Hooray. Anyway, let's move you to here. Okay, so you're closer to Kragmir. Let's put you in ambush stance. Uh, a brutal business. Ooh, fun. So battle is a blood-soaked affair, limbs severed, bones exposed, men left for dead in the croix-soaked fields amongst scores of fallen friends and enemies. Strong weapons forged with time, sweat and expertise mark the difference between victory and defeat. A good sword cuts clean through bones, severing heads and limbs where lesser weapons will merely maim. As instability grows across the world, so too does man's bloodlust and his desire for war and carnage on an ever grander scale. So that's ten turns of plus twenty base weapon damage for all armies of all factions faction wide. Fun. Cool stuff. So. Uh, Vladithi. Come over here. Good boy. Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have actually checked to see if there's anything good there. Might do it with Izzy. Because I do want to wait a turn for him to replenish before we attack the north. Uh, there is some pretty good stuff here. I got some dire walls. And I got some crypt horrors, and I can't afford any black knights, sadly. But that's okay. Not bad. Not bad. Let's head back this way, and I think we're going to have to move a little bit further. Which is annoying. We're going to be tired, but so be it. Actually. You can't go back there. You know what? You can miss out on some re replenishment. It's okay. Uh, I can also get you another skeleton spearman. Have fun. Uh, I also have... Emmanuel Posner here. And there's been a lot of battles around here, as you can see. And a lot of big battles. So I might be able to get some better units around there, too. I'll have to wait and see, because right now I'm a bit skint. So, you go join Isabella again. Or actually, let's see. Do you have any... Nope. Nope. No one no one has any heroes anymore, because I keep murdering them all. It's a, it's a pretty great problem to have. Well, there's that guy, I guess. But I don't want to kill Clubber. Oh, we just got a flesh golem. Excellent. Well, thanks. She's my favourite. She's my favourite. Emmanuel is my favourite. 
even when she's just joining the army again, having, like, gone off to go murder people, she comes back and gives everyone a bonus. It's great. So this thing has no mind. It is a fleshy contraption powered by its master's will, used for mundane tasks and guarding the castle during the daylight. Well, that's horrific. But okay. Sounds like fun. Uh, okay. That's everything, I think. It's getting happier. Would like to level this up a bit, but we're not going to be able to do it while the other two settlements are out of our reach. But yeah, this guy really needs to, um, really needs to sort of deal with this stuff, you know? Really need to get there. <laughs> oh my god, really? You cheeky sod. You know, I wouldn't have expected him to just, just like, run right into the heart of my territory where he couldn't possibly escape my lord. That is insane. He's going to take it. He's actually taken it. Oh, great. Of course. Of course Talabekland would take a different road than everyone else. So that's been taken as well now. So we're now down two territories. We only have three settlements, guys. We're on... We're, oh, four, actually. I forgot about Zifbar. But, yeah, this is pathetic. This is so pathetic. I can't believe how poorly... <laughs> we are expanding our territory. I mean, we have two armies that cannot be defeated, but, you know. So let's take that. So that's good news. We finally got that handled. There is another Skaven army over there, though, I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, Restless Dead, so we can just move about a bit quicker. And for Hildegard von Wuldenhof, let's get you Smoke and Mirrors. Good. Now, I can recruit more vampires. <laughs> more research. Hell yeah. Yes. Excellent. So we've got another one. Um, spread corruption. Spirit leech. Twice. Good. And we're going to go to Ono. We're going to go to Ono. That's where we're going to go. Or is it Oh No? We're going to go to Yoko Oh No. And I guess I can't upgrade Voldenhof because I need to get another vampire. I don't need to get another vampire, but I am. I am going to get one. Uh, and yeah, that'll do. Good. So yeah, we're going to go over there too. But let's level you up first. So, I don't need more pendulums actually. I didn't need to do that. I should have just gone with Safeguard and uh, Impassioned maybe. Just gone with that. That'll do. All right, so Vlad and Isabella. I really need, I really need something in Voldenhof to keep it safe. But the fact they're just going to walk past me and take um, Eshen is <laughs> so silly. Ah, oh, what a pain. See, so yeah, this guy, I don't think he's got that much of an army. I should have had a look at it really. So yeah, what we're going to do is Vlad, for once, is going to go off in a different direction. Okay. We're going to have to have our character split up a bit if we're going to um, handle our business. So, extra leadership for um, that guy. <laughs> Why not? And we're going to attack. Okay. You lance one way. You are my front line now. That's quite bizarre. Maybe you should be the front line. And you guys can flank. Even though we're going to have units going literally above. Look at this. <laughs> Look at these vampires. Incredible. So, tell you what. You guys go kill the Lord right now. Brilliant. And uh, I suppose everyone else can just get involved, huh? Okay, you go get him. You go get him. And everyone else can move up at a, uh, a normal pace. Okay, whenever you're ready. Bam. Nice. Big fan. And... Let's do one of these. Excellent. Let's buff you. Let's lower his ability to fight back. Yeah, they're doing great. They're doing great.
And everyone else can start flying in. Very good. So how's everyone doing? Everyone good? Okay, let's hit that guy again. And let's get another one of these out. Alright, bravo. Or is it brava? Because it's a woman. Okay. And there we have it. Very yeah, good. Yep, that was um, laughable. Yep, yep, no teeth where you're going. Don't know what I meant by that. Marvellous. So, this is mine. And uh, Restless Spirit, more public order. Yeah, that's fine. Then we've got three more Blood Kisses. Though we have nothing that only costs three Blood Kisses now. We have to save up a lot. So we're going to keep saving those and try and max out the Von Karstein line, I think. And yeah, you keep going, mate. You keep going. And wow, that army is laughable. Okay, we just need to get to it then. Although it will take about eight weeks to kill it with this sort of army. But, um, you know, in time. Uh, you can't reach here, can you? No, you can't. I don't think anyone from that army can. So I think Voldenhof is safe for now. And we do have a couple more vampires. Yes, so what I'm thinking, side. actually... Uh, which Sylvanius one are... Orders. I think it's this one. The, no, that's Spirit Leech. I okay, thirst. it's you that I accidentally gave a bit of that, but I could give them Penumbral Pendulum and send them to the north, because what I think I might do... We have no money, never mind. What I was going to say is <laughs> what I could do is... Oh, I can get this guy, though, actually. I can't get this guy back, Luther von Karstein, to hold the fort. That's not a bad idea. But what I was actually thinking is get a Master Necromancer and another full stack of skeletons. Because, uh, I mean, diffusion of magic means that my army upkeep will go up, but the actual army won't cost anything. But anyway, Black Cat, good. Another Black Cat, good. I am unstoppable. But yeah, we'll see. So level 18 now. Really is rather impressive, that. So we got that. Uh... Yeah, let's keep moving down that tree, I suppose. So, let's get... Oh, you're going to be another assassin. Which is fine. You can do that. Cool. And... Emmanuel Posner, just the greatest assassin. Lover. Should we get Pit Shades? Pit Shades is fun. Let's do that. What a marvellous vampire she is. So, yeah, we need to get rid of the Skaven. That'll be one less war that we'll be on. And if I can get rid of these two places, then that'll be another one down. If I can get rid of these that's two, that's possible. another one down. And then I think it's, yeah, three to get rid of another war. Oh, and actually, I think only one territory. Well, that one and another territory. So they're all really tiny empires, you know? These are all tiny, tiny kingdoms. But there's just so many of them that I literally just can't be everywhere at once. Just a full stack just keeps sneaking in. Ugh, that's why I need another stack, really. But we just don't have a lot of money right now. But we do have quite expensive armies currently. I mean, Vlad's is a bit rubbish, honestly. Vlad could probably do with a couple of vampires to help him out. Because on his own, this isn't a great army. It's really not. It's capable of dealing with this quite happily, though. But it's still not great, is it? No, it isn't. So, commandment available again? <laughs> again? Yeah, I'm actually quite tempted then. I think um, I think I might have these two vampires go join him instead. You know, actually, I think I think Ono needs one more. We'll give we'll give him one more, and then I'll send a couple to help out Vlad. We have enough vampires to go around. They shouldn't all be in one army. Even though it is quite funny having them all in one army. <laughs> oh my god! Seriously? <laughs> yeah, he can win that. That garrison's pathetic. Like, I just see a stack like that, I don't consider it. You know, I just don't think that that would ever bother to go anywhere. But no, no, they saw an opportunity and they went for it. I can't really, can't really argue. So there goes the rest of my money. Um, now, let's wipe these little sods out, shall we? Oh, this is going to be a bloody nuisance, isn't it? So, high casualties, but we'll win. So, fine. I'll just, I'll just do it. Fort Oberstire. 
Let's have it. Good. Now let's see what we can recruit here. We can get some more Black Knights. We're getting plenty more random um, followers and things, which is nice. So we can get we can get more Black Knights. And we can get a couple more Crypt Horrors. That's all I can afford. That's all I really need here, though. But I am going to send her over here. So let's merge a couple of these. Actually, let's merge a couple of these. And you head that way. Now here, I'll get rid of the zombies. And I guess I will start making my way this way. Before I join here. So what I am a little concerned with is if I do colonize this. Well, I mean, I think there's Skaven there. I think Skaven live here. So if they do, I can just do a battle. And that's not so bad. Otherwise, I think I'm going to have to go attack Karak Dromar before coming back here. Um, you know, I probably should have stayed back a bit, set up an ambush, just in case. There was a Skaven army in there that might have wanted to fight me. Because if it wants to fight me, I don't really want to fight it, you know? <laughs> that's the problem. Uh, so I can't quite get there. But what I can do, presumably, is set up an ambush somewhere. None of these trees are trees, apparently. Well, isn't that delightful? Okay, just park up by the bridge then. It'll have to do. It'll have to do. So set up an ambush. We'll take this over next turn. Uh, Isabella, I think this army is fine. I think she can handle things well above her weight. And so that will do. Alright. Boom. So this is a bit of a pickle. It means Grimgore is on my... Oh no. So the, the guys he just confederated, the Bloody Spears, actually quite liked me. And so the fact that they've moved in, they might end up declaring war on me soon. That's a real pain. Not happy about that. Oh well. It'll have to do. Okay, let's see what you can do. Okay, Skaven do live here, but it reckons we're going to win. With only medium casualties. Uh, I feel like we should fight this anyway, though. But uh, just cheap Skaven armies don't do great against undead. They really don't. And the fact that we do have Penumbral Pendulum. Like, if we can blob them up, we can do mad damage. But the constant fear that uh, all of our units cause... All of our units cause fear. So that lowers leadership of everything. Low leadership armies like that just don't do well. They do not. And luckily, there's no... Um, uh, storm vermin or anything in there. You know? It's nothing decent. So where do I want to go from here? I'm glad that Fort Chakova has been taken here, because it looks like these guys are keeping Kislev busy. So it seems that Nagash is doing me some favours. Although I'm definitely still my own man. Shut up. I'm no puppet, probably. Uh, Pit of Shades or... Let's go Magical Reserves. Because everybody benefits from Magical Reserves. Can use that magic for anything. Okay, so... Yeah, they've still got a bunch going on up there, but that's okay. So let's take Essen. Yep, let's annihilate them. So that's Valmir von Rokov, who's actually their faction leader. Be nice if he stuck around so I could kill him. Oh, we've got the Blood Chalice objective done. Excellent. So what's next? Move any character to Essen? Seriously? Guys, I am not doing this on purpose, okay? I want to make that clear. When I ended up in Stirland, and then got the next objective, and happened to finish that objective in the same, like, the place I needed it to be again. Like, that's two objectives in a row. I have completed the objective before I have been given it. Twice in a row. I never have this happen. Um, but yeah, this is not planned. I am just really lucking out. Although, arguably, I should be, like, halfway across the Empire by now, so the fact that I'm still here is, um... Probably means that I have not been very lucky. So silver lining, I guess. So when the battle is done, the fields are soaked in less craw than Isabella expected, or indeed desired. Such paltry forces could not uh, really have been meant for her, for they were no threat at all, and could never challenge her undead hegemony. There must be more to their machinations, she muses, as she drags terrified and hapless captive Empire soldiers into the bowels of her fortress to exact information in cruel and unusual ways. Their dying gasps reveal that they were sent to capture not vampires, but worshippers of chaos, the savage, depraved beastmen. Isabella is intrigued, even as her charges scream in agony. If she could deal with the beastmen herself, 
the power they seek could be hers instead. And yep, then we succeeded in that. And then finally, do this battle. Awesome. Right there, huh? Oh, that's so cool. So the enemy forces are some beastmen. Uh, these quest battles, because it's a game one quest battle, this is going to be an absolute walk in the park. So we can do that whenever, really. So that's really cool. Love that. I mean, we're going to just get it on the way north, but this has been beautifully timed. So, uh, the Beastmen are arrayed and they... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I need to learn how to talk again. The Beastmen are arrayed in their usual fashion. A random collection of hooves and grunts that bear no discernible sense of order, dangerous yet chaotic. And there is something different about them this time. They hum with an unnatural radiance, shining with an entirely disconcerting power. Yet despite this, Isabella will not allow them to best her. She will drive them back, destroy them, and from their broken bones and bloodied horns, discover their secrets. Yeah, you better. You go, girl. Fences blades, black cat. We're getting all the toys. Right, let's have a look here. At dawn, they sleep. So extra armor piercing for all of our new dire wolves would be lovely, as well as the hunger to keep them going. I do like the sound of that. And so what does this one do? Uh, extra acceleration and deceleration and strider. And, um... Oh, wow, that's what all the dire wolves fell about, Svargal, Svargeist, and Terrorgeist. That's pretty cool. Also, plus 30% speed for all those units, and discouraged um, effect, reducing leadership for um, Isabella. That's really good. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that a lot. But yeah, let's go for at dawn, they sleep. The extra uh, five armor piercing damage is really quite substantial. That is really good. Just more armor piercing damage is wonderful, but for just like fast moving units like that that's a just a big chunk of extra damage that's gonna be really useful against all kinds of units so let's get further for that one. Oh, one more level for emmanuel who is now immortal my favorite girl immortal ah fantastic so essen let's no no let's not bother let's do eschen instead okay let's start leveling up our our kingdom again because this is pathetic how much we've been um, just just wrecked <laughs> so i can actually get vlad over here which it would be a shame not to wouldn't it so let's move him here okay so he's gonna move in so the moot sadly just belongs to uh avalon now which isn't ideal not sure i like that but it'll have to do. Uh, and then this is going to be so easy, there's no point fighting it. But I still feel like we probably should, because we haven't fought a bunch of Skaven yet, have we? Or have we? I think we might have fought Skaven once. You know what? I'm struggling to remember. I think we'll just fight it, that way we know that we have. Alright, this is very dark and gloomy, isn't it? Awfully dark and gloomy. Very cool, though. Very cool. Even if it is very dark and gloomy. Vampire. It could be both. Uh, I'm going to put my spearmen on the outside. Just because it feels appropriate somehow. Not that there's any Skaven cavalry to worry about. Um, Good. And you know what? You girls can go in the front line too. So that'll do. Good. Now I'll get stuck in. Good stuff. And you guys can run off to one side and just keep pushing in. Good. All right. So we've got some night runners chasing us. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. Just keep running everything in. All right. What do I do about these guys? I think just ignore them, honestly. So keep pushing forwards. God, there's a lot of Skaven, huh? Awful lot of Skaven. Awful lot of skeletons. Aha. Got some cavalry. I like cavalry. Okay, keep moving. The gutter runners are going to run out of ammo before they really do anything worthwhile. So you guys go kill Warlord Fisk, please. You could actually start now. Okay, not now. Now? Now. Good. Oh. And looks like those Gaben moved. That's fine. 
Alright, that'll do. Alright, go get him. Go get him. Alright, I got your big call. I bet. Go get him. Excellent. Alright, now... Uh, I don't feel like there's a great place to use Penundral Pendulum, like anywhere. Not really. I'll just kill that unit, I suppose. It's not a lot, but, you know, if it kills something, then it'll do, I guess. Your desire. It's my desire. Your desire? My desire. Danger, danger? Yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah, you, you know it. You know it. So, ogres are taking some damage, but they're doing fine. It's actually nice to have all our ogres in one uh, one army all of a sudden, because they're not usually all in one army. All right, that's all good. Now he's going to keep chasing them, huh? Well, can't knock here for. The effort you're putting in. And ah, there's Vlad. Okay, good. All right, let's get you over here, mate. Let's get you over here. All right, I want to buff some skeletons. It's gonna be a massive waste, but it'll be funny. Okay, good. How you lot doing? Fine. Fine enough. Okay. Seems everything's starting to break. Which is a bit of a pity. But it'll do. Alright, what else we got? Yeah, I got some Crypt Horrors on the way. Yeah, you guys keep pushing up. It's very dark, isn't it? It's very gloomy. Hard to see what's going on, really. But it's okay. I'm, I'm sure we'll last. Alright, Vlad. Let's lower the melee attack, just because we can. And we'll drop some zombies on them, so they think they're getting flanked. Good. Alright, now start. Start chomping. Okay, you guys keep chasing. Oh, hi! Hi there, guys. Hello. Ah, oh, who invited you? Alright, so we're doing well over here. They've still got a bunch of, uh, of skirmishes here that I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I think um, I think Fisk might be having a bit of a bother here. Yeah, you're no longer the kingpin. Get out of here. Oh, my name is a Darid Evil. So, are we done yet? Not yet. I'm kind of amazed they're still holding in here. Oh, okay, Vlad's army has finally turned up. That took a while. Alright, still making our way through. Still making our way through. Any minute now. Yeah, genuinely surprised that these guys are still fighting. I really thought army losses would have hit. Luckily, the Mournfang cavalry are coming in. And... Yeah, it, it looks like the Skaven don't like him much. It looks like the Skaven don't like Mournfang cavalry much at all. Good. Yeah, see? See, not happy Skaven. Not happy. You can practically see the Fear Musk. Practically see it. Although these guys are fantastic at getting, like, tripping over enemies and just changing their mind about what they're targeting. They're very good at that. And, oh no, we had, um, oh no, <laughs> how did they even get there? I don't know how these Clanorat Spears got here, I really don't, but our uh, Sylvanian crossbow really getting absolutely wrecked, that's really embarrassing. There we go, there's our losses, cool, that'll do, moving along, there we go. 
Good stuff. Uh, and now this is ours, I guess. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Probably, probably just stick above ground, I think. Decisive victory. Although, saying that, it, it's an odd idea for vampires to stay above ground. You'd think with the Warhammer world being so ridiculously subterranean. You'd think vampires would go there, because they don't have no risk of sunlight. So they can just... Yeah, they can just do their thing. So... No? They're not seem clever? I think that would be clever. They should do that. And obviously when I say they should do that, I mean other vampires. We're very fancy, so... You know. We wouldn't do any of that nonsense. No, no, no. We're far too fancy. Okay, let's get... Oh my God, I can't believe we still haven't got any unliving host. And I'm still ignoring it. We're going to get this first. But yeah, we do need to level up his... Um, his army. It's just we haven't really been relying on it, that's the thing. Um, I've been relying on Isabella's army to do all the killing. I've just wanted Vlad's army to just sort of be there. <laughs> just sort of be taking the damage. You know what, we use all the vampires and vargulfs as um, sort of as a surgical tool. So this is nice. We finally have Sylvania all under one banner and almost the neighbouring mountains. So this has been a good turn, actually. This has been a very good turn. We've doubled the amount of territory we had. Uh, well, not this turn, this episode. We've doubled the amount of territory we've had already. I think. Because we've got took Eschen, Oberstia, Schwarzhofen, and Essen. I'm pretty sure we did all that this episode, didn't we? Maybe. It's a bit nuts. So, Hildegard. Let's get you the hunger. And for Ottilo. Sorry, Ottila. Ottila von Wollenhoff. Um, spread corruption. Let's get spread corruption. This place isn't perfect yet, and uh, we'll need to um, deadify this area a bit. Let's have a look. So yeah, Isabella's fine up here on her own, I think, but I will need to take Mordheim and Krugenheim in a hurry, I reckon. I think I'll have to come back this way for Nagenhof and then finally Bakafen, but I, I need to get rid of these guys. And I think that she has the sort of army that can do it very well. Because dire wolves, very high weapon strength, and pretty good melee attack, so they can be quite good at killing slayers nice and quickly. Um, and they aren't large either, so I don't have to worry about slayers getting their anti-large bonus on them. So I think this could be the one we use, but it really depends on what these guys are able to recruit. Because rogue armies are a little bit weird; they seem to get access to a bunch of stuff just for existing, you know, just for being. So I don't know what they're able to recruit, but I think we want to get rid of these guys, just wipe them out while we can. Uh, I might not even take Klugenheim. I might even just burn that to the ground. I think that's probably the safest bet. Cool. Alright, next turn. Ah, here he is. Flame cannon. Cool. And hammerers. That's all he's got, huh? Uh, and... Yeah, uh, that's Nuggenhalf. Ah, here we go. Hammerers, slayers, miners, iron drakes, gyro bomber, and flame cannons. As the garrison as well. Wow. So anyway, uh, killing is happening over here, which is a pain, because I need to—I need all of these troops to go fight our enemies. Um, yeah, I guess impassioned. But yeah, this needs to this needs to happen. We need to get rid of these guys. We really do. We really do. Oh, this is going to suck. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So, can you read Karagroma? Not quite. That's a pity. That is a pity. That's definitely a pity. But, what I can do is put you in Avra Stance. And I can put you here as a juicy target. And we'll have to hope that works. So, Schwarzhofen is my capital again. It's on tier 1. <laughs> on turn 40. Uh, so, what I could do as well, actually, which is probably wiser is, uh, let's see, is that going to be close enough? Maybe. If I go there and ambush, I imagine that that would cover Essen. But it's hard to say. Even if it doesn't, I don't care. This guy will be trapped wherever he is. Essen is still low tier. I haven't bothered doing anything about it. So, um, 
But yeah, we might be able to ambush this guy and then take Mordheim so we can fight those units separately. Then we can take Kalagdromar, which will give us the Monopoly. And that should keep our southern um, border safe for a bit. <laughs> oh, and of course we've got um, uh, Gelt down here. I don't know why he's down here, actually. It's a bit strange. Huh. These guys don't even dislike me all that much. I might actually be able to trade with some of these guys. So that'd be very unrealistic for Gelt to be like, Oh yeah, sure. Because yeah, he, did, he did create the, like, the Auric Bastion and other stuff. So he has made a lot of tools to deal with the undead. But, uh, you know, you never know. He might be feeling <laughs> feeling charitable. He might just really want the wine that we make in... Well, we were making it in Eshen. Now we just make charnel pits. So I guess we just make charns. Yep. That's how English works. Uh, yeah, let's carry on. Uh, oh, okay, this guy attacked, which is going to drag Isabella out of um, Amberstan. So that's a bit annoying. But this guy doesn't stand a chance. Although it thinks that they do? I guess we have no choice but to fight this. Damn you, game. Alright, well, uh, you guys, uh, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Uh, where's Jürgen? Let's go get him. Let's go get him, boys. Okay, I think that's everybody. And there he is. Go get him, boys. Okay, good. This is obscene. <laughs> this is absolutely obscene. No wonder he's running away. It's like, you know what, guys? Uh, I think I'm good. Alright, let's peel off a couple of these guys. Just a vampire per unit. I think three can probably handle him, right? Yeah. Bloody marvellous. Uh, okay, you guys, chase them down. And then when these guys inevitably run this way to try and help, I can murder them. Alright, they're not moving. Alright, kill those spearmen then. Yeah, you deal with them. You handle that lot. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? That won't do. Ah, good. That should handle it. Alright, good. These guys are, yeah, handling it. <laughs> good job. Okay, you go for them. Oh wow, these bar guys took some punishment. Wow, I wonder what got them. Alright, let's hit Jürgen again. Good. Alright, you guys had fun. Uh, you attack those spearmen now. Alright, let's charge back down that way. And... I guess Scabscrath can do some stuff. Good. And I think that's army losses. Nope, not quite. Nope, still going, apparently. Alright, in that case. Nope, not you. There's Isabella. Let's heal them up a bit. Might be enough. Ah, there we go, there's army losses. Good. Yeah, well, good effort. Good effort, mortals. Good effort, but I've got death doggos. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do? Okay. Well, that went well. Uh, dominate them. I don't need to do that, do I? And if I do return captives, that's actually going to help out. Um, yeah, it's only the ga pardon me, it's only the garrison that suffers, so screw it. Now, Cobalt, do you want to attack? Yeah? Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to come attack me? Do not the words with the weak. Oh, are you joking? No, of course not. Border Prince is 
is at war with us now, so they're going to be coming up Blackfire Pass to fight us every couple of turns. Ah, that's so annoying. Unbelievable. So we sold a Razor Standard. That's nice. Um, <laughs> I just can't believe it. Everyone wants a piece. I've never known anything like it. Okay, so, final... Oh, wow, is that it? Oh, okay. That'll do. Good. Um, this is mine now. Clan Farrakh has been wiped out. Brilliant. It's about bloody time. And uh, now I can start upgrading things, so... Don't really need that there. Do I? Probably not. But Karag Dromar, I think, is going to need a garrison. Because the Border Princes might come in here and not attack Schwarzhoffen, but move around because this is bordering them. Also, the Forest of Gloom here. That's rather exciting. Um, okay, let's upgrade Kragmir as well. This area is not the best, so it needs all the help it can get. Uh, so, Corolla von Messingoff. Penumbral Pendulum. It's a fun spell. And, uh, oh no, von Falkenstein can stay down here for now. Vlad will move north eventually. Isabella and her just coven, I guess. Oh, we can get this. Brilliant. Extra speed for direwolves, discouraged effect for ourselves, and everyone gets strider and acceleration, deceleration buffs. Marvellous. Well, all the monsters do. Of which she has many. Ha ha ha. Lovely. Uh, right. Elke van Hal. Let's get you. Pit of Shades. That's a fun one. And for Emmanuel Posner. Magical reserves. Brilliant. Okay, so these guys are still loitering, which is a pain. I feel like I do need to finish this guy off, though. So let's do that. Good, he wants to fight. Don't know why. But I'll allow it. Marvellous. So, treasurer. Well, he started off as dis destitute nobles. Bloody, bloody, blah. Money, money, money. Brilliant. It's my favourite fairy tale. Uh, let's move you here. Okay, then. Can't set up an ambush. Of course we can't. Of course, because... We have 23% movement, even though that line is above 25. Why even have a graphic? That's what I want to know. But hey, Melissa is uh, immortal. Good for her. And Roderica Steinhoff can get... Yeah, tenacity. And then we get Dark Benediction next for extra leadership. That'll be nice. Uh, Elke van Hal, let's get you... I mean, Occam's Mind Razor is pretty great. If we can overcast that, we can cast it on our entire coven <laughs> in one go when we go and goon someone, which is pretty awesome to be able to do that. Uh, let's get replenished troops here, just because we haven't really bothered to invest in replenishment at all, and uh, might be worthwhile. Might be worthwhile. They're recruiting more. Of course they are. Grr. Who are you all with? Now you're all with Talapine. Fine. Okay. I'll allow it. Uh, what next? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure what the plan is next. I think this also might just be the end of the turn. I think we just have to retreat with them. We'll leave Ono oh to guard this, you know, whole southern area and also, for any potential wars starting on this flank. And uh, Vlad's going to head north and help just start actually making some progress over here. All the progress we did in, what, episode 2? That <laughs> got completely undone by episode 3, you know? Or was it 3 and 4? I don't know. Either way, it was very quick. You know, we took all this territory and then we went all the way back home. Um, mostly. Mostly thanks to Manny. Silly Manny. But anyway, that's where we're going to leave it, guys. So... You know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to get any Warhammer games or uh, any game. There's a bunch of other games there too at nexus.gg slash Janet. You can use the search bar if it's not being featured on uh, my storefront. You know, I can pick ten, but there's other stuff there. So it's always worth having a look. There may be a bargain. Cool. So anyway, um, catch you later. Have a good one, guys.